Hey, section 9.4, perimeter and area in the coordinate plane. In this section, we're really going to rely on the fact, remove this, so I just got to do it. Don't bug me forever and ever, to the day I die, if I don't. In this section, we're really going to bank on the fact that we're in the coordinate plane with a grid that we can use to quantify any kind of length or area. So these polygons may be odd or composite polygons. So for section number three, how can we break these up into polygons we're more familiar with? basic triangles, rectangles, trapezoids. And then from earlier in the year, looking at distance formulas. Distance formulas were in the coordinate plane. We can use those to easily find lengths of line segments. So example one, finding the perimeter and area of the polygon. So we have E at negative 1, negative 1. So we're going there to find E. We have F at 2, negative 2. 2, negative 2. We have G, negative 1, negative 4. Negative 1, negative 4, right there, G. And we have H, negative 4, comma, negative 3. Negative 4, comma, negative 3. So drawing our shape, let's move some letters out of the way. So H, E, E, F, the best line segment ever. H, G. GF. So we have this shape that we want to find the area and the perimeter of. Now it looks like a polygon. HEGF, they're parallel. HGEF, they're parallel. Unfortunately, it's kind of a poly parallelogram, but flipped over. Okay? So it's not like horizontally vertically aligned. So to find specifically the area, we're going to have to break it up into two separate shapes. To find the perimeter though, because it's a parallelogram, if we find HG, we'll also get EF. If we find HG, we also get GF. So finding the length of two sides, then doubling each of those to get the whole length. So we'll start with perimeter. Again, HG equals EF. Those two sides are the same. So to find the length, we're going to do a quick, I'll even, I mean earlier I said distance formula and you can, but when the coordinate grid, I'll go Pythagorean theorem. A to G could be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. One of the legs is one, the other leg is three. So go ahead and use that. So square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared will give me the length of HG, which is 1 plus 9 root 10. Then the same idea, GF, is equal to HG. And I'll do another Pythagorean theorem, because we're in the coordinate grid. I don't need to do distance formula. That's more generic, more generalized. But in a grid, just draw a triangle. 
and that are triangle, GF is the hypotenuse, the legs are 3 and 2. So square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. Let's see, 4 plus 9 giving me root 13. So the perimeter is 2 of the root tens, 2 times root 10, and 2 of the root 13s. Right? Pretty straightforward, okay? Now to find area, it would be nice if the parallelogram was rotated over a little, it was straight across, straight up down. We could just do base times height. Unfortunately, it's kind of diagonally rotated. So, we'll break it up into two shapes that are horizontally and diagonally aligned. Sorry, horizontally and vertically aligned. So we'll break it up into two triangles. Both of those triangles have a base of 3 and a height of hmm, 3. Easy. So each triangle has an area of one half base times height. So we'll do both triangles. Triangle HEG is one half its base, which is three, and its height, which is three, to give us nine halves. The other triangle, triangle EGF, Again, one half base times height. One half base times height to give me nine halves. So to add that all up, the area nine halves plus nine halves, which is pretty simply nine. Go ahead and look at example 2, check your work with my completed notes online.